A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy Bookie here, and I'm coming at you with the final, like a little trilogy of like simple tutorials that I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be ending it off with shakes. Now, I like to combine my shakes with like another transition, so for this, for the sake of this, we're going to be doing zooms. If you know, know how to do a zoom transition in After Effects, I already made a tutorial on it. Card should pop up, little i card at the top of the um, screen, or you can just always check the description down below. So um, we're gonna you're gonna need Sapphire plugins. If you don't already have Sapphire plugins, I have a video link down in the description as well. Get Sapphire, you're gonna be using them a lot when you're editing like little edits and stuff. So you might as well go ahead and get it now. So um, I'm gonna go over here and type in shake. And this, you're gonna be using uh, is shake because you don't have this um, preset yet, but you can make that whenever you put that on there. So I'm just gonna use my smooth shake preset. I'm not gonna put it on the first one because um the shake doesn't happen until this part right here so i am just going to go right here put my smooth shake preset which is just going to be s shake and as you can see right there it says s shake and you need to copy these right here these values right here pause the video um copy these right there make sure to put these on reflect it's very important so like instead of using motion tile you're going to be using these as your like motion tile because it does basically the same thing so once you got these animate your amplitude i'm going to press u so i can see my keyframe and i'm going to go to about the middle or so like around right here and i'm just going to turn this to zero then i'm going to highlight both of these right here f9 on the keyboard go into the graph editor um make it to where i can see it big and I'm just gonna um you can play with the graph when it comes to shakes it's like whatever you need really um sometimes I don't bring it all the way down like this sometimes I like to leave it like hanging around right here but um, I'm gonna for this one since it's like a really long shake I'm gonna um put it about right there and drag it in kind of tight like that and let's see what that looks like all right and I'm just gonna do the same thing right here with this one, go right here, go on, um, push U, about to the middle again, zero, F9, graph editor, and it's basically the same thing. All right, so um, now let's see what we got. So um, we can make these look a lot smoother by turning on motion blur and uh, I just highlighted all those so I can add it to all of them at once. So now we have a little bit of motion blur. Now we can add more if you have, um, while you're getting Sapphire, you can go ahead and get RSMB, which is real smart motion blur. And here is my preset for that. Wait, I'm going to add it to all of them. Let me do it this way. Apply animation preset, RSMB pre. And these are my settings for RSMB, and um, you can copy those as well. This is gonna make it look super, super smooth like you saw in the beginning. So um, yeah, I'm gonna let you see it one more time. All right, so um, before I end the video, I really want you guys' opinion on this. So I made this wallpaper yesterday and I want your opinion on it. Like, is this is a little cool? Is there something that I could do better? You know what I'm saying? I know there's a little bit of displacement right here with like her eye and like kind of like the darkness around her ears, but I was um, planning on going back and fixing that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this wallpaper. And um, yeah, that's all I got. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.